Hey guys, all things Apple here, and can you still use iOS 6 in 2018? That video is coming up right now. Hey guys, all things Apple here, and can you still use iOS 6 in 2018? That is the video you are watching, like which is what I said in the intro. Let's find out. Let's enter the passcode. I don't care if it's on video because you can't do anything with it because you'll never because you probably won't have access to this device. Now let's just take a look at the device. This device does have stickers all over the back of it. You can see right there and it's got lo it's got loads of shed load all over the back of it. But that doesn't matter, because this device is what we are going to use in this video to find out whether iOS 6 is still worth using in 2018. Safari does still work. You need Wi-Fi for it, obviously. You, this iPad will not connect to the Wi-Fi in my uncle's house, which is unfortunate for me. But I was lucky enough to actually have an iPad that was made in 2000, an early version of the iPad 2, not and I actually kept this on iOS 6 this this was actually kept on iOS 6 and I was and I'm the last and I actually decided to own it it's been mine for about two years now but anyway Safari does still work mail does still work you need internet for it obviously or for both of these apps or you can use cellular as well this iPad is not a cellular enabled this iPad is not a cellular enabled iPad because this is where the SIM tray would normally be and it is absent this is where the SIM tray would normally be and it is absent on this device so this is a Wi-Fi only model yes so Safari and email do still work if you've got Wi-Fi or cellular videos does still work you just need to download stuff off iTunes but this application but such applications do still work I just show you with a bit of Ice Age right here. I just no. I just show you with a bit of Ice Age right here. Okay, you get the idea. You get the picture. Videos does still work. Music still works. No Apple Music for this one, but it does still work. I'll just show you with. Um, let's do. I've got to be quick about this decision, so. Let's use Eye of the Tiger. I'm not going to use leave this on for very long because I don't want to get copyright strikes. But yeah, you get the idea. Music still works. Music still works. I'm not going to leave it on any longer because I just said I don't want to get copyright strikes on this channel. So yeah, and I haven't actually had any copyright strikes before. Third party apps can still be downloaded. Older versions though. Some, some are actually the latest versions of the app because the latest version of the app still supports iOS 6 but apps like Color Switch and Temple Run so, yeah because apps like Color Switch and Temple Run 2 they are not the old, they are not the newest versions because the newest versions no longer support iOS 6 Christmas Tiny Piano Tiny Piano and Tiny Guitar the 2014 versions of them they're the 2014 versions of them so yeah they don't work the latest versions don't work on iOS 6 anymore. Yeah, they came from the App Store right there. <laughs> in all of its pride, in, in its skimorphic pride. Settings obviously still works. Game Center does still work, but Game Center does still work, but it was killed in iOS 10, so Apple don't actually ship it with the Apple device that with Apple don't actually ship it with their iPods, iPhones and iPads anymore. And the only iPod they are still making is the iPod Touch. Here is a generation of the iPod Touch. It is the fourth generation and it does still work. I'll just quickly unlock it. So I'm not going to spend too much time here. You can see it, it still works. I'm not going to spend any more time in it. I just hit the glass pane on the... Okay. I just hit a glass pane on the bottom of the of my writing bureau here, which is what I'm using, which is what I'm recording with here. 
Game Center does still work. iTunes obviously still works because that's where I got that Ice Age film from. Notes still works. You can still take notes. I just type this fly. Right. Fly by. One, two, three. There we go. That says one, three, three. Fly by. One, two, three. There we go. Fly by one, two, three. And yeah, so I just delete that now because I don't actually need it. And I'm not going to let you read that because that's private. Contacts does still work. I just don't have any contacts to put in it. Reminders still works if you've got iCloud. Newsstand probably still works if you've got Wi-Fi. Obviously, I don't have Wi-Fi on here on here because it won't connect to my uncle's Wi-Fi, so I can't tap on the store button. Calendar still works. You can see, you can go all the way back. You can actually go back to all of the days you... You can actually go back to like 2000. You can actually go back to like 2010, I think. No, you can actually go back to the mid 1800s on the calendar on this calendar, I think. I've, that's how good, how far back this calendar can go. We've already done notes. No, wait, we're actually not on that row. We're not on that row anymore. We have got photo booth, which we got photo booth, which actually still works. You can see the camera up there. It's actually an iPhone with the, what the truck case on it. Yeah, we'll just choose thermal camera here. You can see this is a thermal imaging camera. You can see the sun's been shining on here, so it's got so there's hot on it. And yeah, my obviously my hand shows up hot on the camera. And this box does not show up very hot on the camera, but it does show up a bit hot because it's been in there. Look, this will probably not show up hot. No, it does actually show up here. But, yeah, it's not actually going to show up that much heat. Right, yeah, that's me. Does that show up any heat on there? Okay, so the lights on my EMF meter are going to show up heat. So, yeah, you can see that green LED is actually showing up red on the camera. You can see the green LED right there is showing up red on the camera because that's showing heat. I'll just put that away. We're both wasting too much time on photo with now. Clock, that still works. You can see I've got my 745 alarm here. I didn't actually use it because I'm going to be using that tomorrow. Don't be expecting too many videos uploaded tomorrow. In fact, don't expect any videos uploaded tomorrow because I'm going out somewhere tomorrow. But anyway, that's uh, that's the one I did. And uh, where's the 20... There's a, the, that, that's the one I was looking for. The 10.22 one. Clock does still work. You can use all of its functions. I'll go back on it a second. World clock. Alarm. I just showed you. Stopwatch. That still work. Timer still. This timer still. Timer still works. Yeah, you can see timer still works. So I just do that for one minute. And I start it. You can see timer still works. Maps still works if you've got Wi Fi. That you would need Wi-Fi all the way there. Maps is not actually made for this for the Wi-Fi only model of the iPads. Camera still works. I don't even know why I do hear that. I actually use rely on this for video and picture taking. So yeah, that was a picture. A little bit of a video here, and it's recording now. So yeah, I'll play that back in a second. So now let's go to back to the camera and I'll play that video I just recorded. Yeah, you can see it's recording. You can see it's playing the video. And yeah, now I'll show you that picture I took. There you go. Now I'll go off the camera. Photos, you can see everything you've ever taken. You can see it's all here. And I set it up in three, al in three albums. Camera roll, screenshots and Instagram is there because that picture was taken with this guy. There's the timer doing it stuff. And there's the time. There was the time of finishing. You've got Instagram, and that's actually there. That picture is actually in that, in that uh, that it's actually in the album because that picture I've, I have put, I have put that picture on Instagram when I did it with this device. All aboard is just some pictures I've taken. And now, face FaceTime and messages do still work, but you can't really use them without Wi-Fi. 
all these third, most of these third party work, third party apps work. Tap Tap Reborn doesn't work. I show you that. Yeah, you can see various Exaga doesn't work, and BKGD Editor doesn't work, and I believe Discover Network, whatever that is, doesn't work. And I okay, guys. So all third party apps that you can download that are older versions work and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wait for this for this app to load because it'll take too long. Wait 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 wait, wait. almost ready to launch come on come on come on come on I have a good day I got it and supercharging the servers oh my god this is gonna take forever connecting nodes oh my god this is really 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 pissed me off this all engines running come on I haven't even loaded this app for the first bit Preparing for liftoff. Oh my god. What is this thing doing, Ten? No, no, it's going to take ages. The, the, the countdown. Hey, Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. It's taking too long. I want to show you the app. I don't, have even, I don't even know how to use the damn thing. I I don't even know how to use this app, but I want to let get it to load before my storage runs out. And finally, it's at one. Finally, it's at one. We have lift off. Come on, it's a dud. What's it doing? Oops. What's it doing? Yeah. I um, you know it doesn't work. It doesn't work, guys. So that's a bit of annoying annoyance. But if you didn't know, all of these apps do work. I my iPhone, this i the camera storage actually ran out, which is the iPhone storage actually ran out. So I probably didn't get a chance. I probably didn't explain all of these apps. But all of them do. But all of these apps do actually work. This is actually technically a folder, but whatever. The, but all, all of this stuff that you're seeing on this iPad screen right now all of this stuff you can see it properly now you can see it properly now all of this stuff does work some of this and the spotlight search works as well so sorry for that or sorry that for sorry for that camera movement there but this does act most of these apps do actually work. I'm not going to show you with them working because that'll just take way too long. But yeah, if you're the type of user that's just a, a mild to moderate user, yes, you can use iOS six in 2018. But if you're a heavy user that likes the most, the, likes the most that the likes the latest apps and wants everything to be best and best and cutting edge and everything no you cannot choose iOS 6 in 2018 like you used to be able to back in 2012 and it's only been like like four years since uh, since developers have not wanted to create apps for iOS 6 but some developers do actually still create apps for iOS 6 and I've only got Minecraft Pocket Edition Lite on it on here because that's from my uncle's Apple ID because he signed his iPad into that Apple ID, into his Apple ID and his Apple ID had Minecraft Pocket Edition Lite, which is no longer on the App Store. You yeah, have been watching All Things Apple and this is All Things Apple signing off. Okay guys, so actually just follow me on Instagram at allthingsapple.iphone and like and subscribe like like the video subscribe follow me on instagram at all things apple .iphone, like i just said that is all things this is all things apple signing off for real this time <laughs>